There are 116 museums hidden among the streets of Chengdu. How does one best experience a museum? Most of the time, when you enter a museum, you walk right into a different period of history. At the latticed excavation site, we can see the riverside sacrificial area of the ancient Shu people from more than 3,000 years ago. Here, over 6,000 pieces of cultural relics like gold vessels and jade articles have been unearthed. If we say that Jinsha is part of Chengdu's DNA, it's the 0.02 centimeter thick golden sunbird that would be the first memory of all Chengdu people. They are not only a keeper of Chinese history, but they're a keeper of the history of humanity. In downtown Chengdu, shoppers mix together with visitors to the Chengdu Museum. There lies a real heavyweight relic in the museum, an 8.5-ton stone rhinoceros, which is believed to be the mythical creature that helped Li Bing with water harnessing over 2,000 years ago. Near this colossus stands a miniature treasure of the museum. If you take a close look at this 14-centimeter tall lacquer acupuncture figurine, you will clearly see that this is the earliest intact medical mannequin of China. I'm so surprised that in uh, ancient China people could already find uh, and determine so many of your points. Inside the shaded red-walled Wuho Shrine Museum, People are talking about Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang. More than 1,700 years ago, they, a ruler and a minister, established the kingdom of Shu Han and benefited its people. Nowadays, the two of them still accompany each other, listening to visitors talking about loyalty and righteousness. China has more than 3,000 years of poetic tradition. Poetry lovers always come to this museum. This was once the residence of the great poet, Du Fu. In 759 AD, the displaced poet at last found a place to settle down. During his three years here, he wrote what he saw and thought about Chengdu into over 200 poems, which are still celebrated today. Chengdu people love to not only visit museums, but also to open museums. So far, there have been 110 private museums in Chengdu, more than any city in China. This building is just a treasure of ideas. In these museums, you may see butterfly and insect specimens from all over the world. Encounter diversified life forms from around the globe. Get lost in the enchanting brilliance of ancient and contemporary lamplight. Or inhale the fragrance of a bouquet that has been filling the air for 600 years. In the museums of Chengdu, you not only need eyes for history and beauty, you can also interact with museums. You can immerse yourself in a time travel drama, turn the ignition on a vintage car, <laughs> and even learn to make a Sichuan dish. From private to public, from ancient times to the current age, no matter how the world changes, people need museums because museums present not only history, but also human cultures and lifestyles. In museums, time and space overlap. Civilization and wisdom converge. And the moment you experience them, you see the most touching and lasting picture of humanity on this planet. <laughs>